okay before I go about installing the plugin architecture I wanted to back up everything so what I did was is I did a um, a sudo mkdir and I made a folder called cacti dash back for backup so that's the first thing I did and then I copied the file in there let's see here I did I copied and that's not how I did it um, I did this so I copied I did a sudo copy command CP space dash R for recursively and I copied everything from cacti into this folder I created called cacti dash back so now if I do an LS command I've got my cacti folder and I've got a cacti dash back folder for backup so I've backed up my cacti folder so now according to the install documentation on the website on how to install this thing using the prepatch files right I'm on the installing the plugin architecture on the cacti documentation website um, it wants me to copy files over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy files over uh, into the cacti folder here which is in my web directory and to do that I'm going to change directories and I'm gonna go into my home folder and I'm gonna go into the uh, downloads folder and do a list and I want to go into the cacti plugin architecture folder so I'm gonna do a CD and go into the cacti dash plugin architecture folder and then I'm gonna do a ls command and in there I'm looking for this folder right here files dash so I need to go in there change directory files dash 0.8.7 G so now I'm in that folder within the cacti plugin architecture folder I'm in the files dash 0.8.7 G folder right so I'm in there uh, clear put in the clear command so we're at the top and what I want to do is I want to copy all of the files and folders from in here into my cacti install folder and to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a copy command dash R recursively and um, and let's see here and I'm going to say this folder that I'm in right this folder that I'm in everything in it asterisk for everything and I'm gonna copy it to var slash dub 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 okay forward slash all right and var slash dub 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 slash cacti because that's where I want to copy it to and I'll hit enter permission denied so it's trying to copy all of these files right into the folder there but it gets permission denied that's a good thing all right that's a good thing that's so trying to do it but it got denied so copy see if I can stretch this out so you can see it a little bit better all right all right so I'll just put a sudo on the front cp space dash r space dot forward slash asterisk everything in this folder in the current folder we're in to var dub 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 cacti all right and hit enter and it's done so now I've copied all the files over there so now there should be some changes here if you hit refresh on your website you should see the plugin architecture file yes or no you know just because I copied the files over doesn't mean that's all there was to it uh, so um, I can still see cacti I refresh the window it hasn't broken cacti but I'm not seeing the plugins so there's still more to do according to the configuration document part of the um, installation instructions we need to edit our config.php file and add a few um, lines in here okay so uh, namely this right here so I'll copy that and if I go back to my config file you'll see that 
there's nothing there to match that. So I'll hit enter a couple times and paste that right there. So basically, most of it's just commented out characters that we just pasted, but you'll see here that two important lines were put in, and that is URL path cacti, right? And then um, this plugins uh, variable equals an array, right? So I will save that. Okay, this is a required step in the installation. So now hit refresh and see if we've got the plugin architecture here. And according to this, we don't. Um, so back to the back to the manual. So we did this. And we'll go to the next part, and that is there's the SQL part as well. Okay, the last piece after we've finished that config file is to import a uh, SQL file into our Cacti database, right? It says here the plugin architecture includes a PA.SQL file. Well, let's go take a look for that. Um, in the, we'll look at some of these folders here. All right, in Cacti. I'm looking for a PA. We copied all the files over there, so I'm wondering, is it in here, right? PA.SQL. And I don't see it in here, right? So there was the cacti.sql file, right? Maybe it's in the plugins folder. Index.php, no. So um, in the install folder, no. So what I'll do is I will go back to um, my home folder and in downloads and the plugin architecture and there it is pa.sql so I believe that this needs to get imported so let's just give it a shot what do we have to lose so right here I'm in the cacti database right here right oops Got to log in again. Okay, I'm back into my PHP my admin looking at the Cacti database. You can see there's 48 um, tables in here, right? It's all been populated. So I'm in here and click on there just to make sure, yes, I'm in there. I'll click on import and browse. And I'll go to um, Dan Downloads. Cacti plugin architecture, PA plugin architecture.sql. Click on that. All right, there it is. I'm just going to allow the defaults and click go. And it has uh, import has been successfully finished, seven queries executed, yada, yada, yada. So now if I hit refresh, maybe we will see the plugin architecture. 